Namaste, my dear friends. You all know my name is Prakash and I'm a teacher at Saraswati High School, Moyad. Today, I would like to narrate a story. But why? Why I have decided to narrate a story today? Because now I want to teach my students how to tell a story, how to narrate a story. So when I ask my students, Hey, dear students, do you want to narrate a story? Do you want to come on the stage to say something? My students got confused. Sir, we don't have any stories. We haven't prepared a story. Then how can we come on the stage? Then I advise my students. I guided my students, dear students. Storytelling skill is an essential skill. So you must learn this skill at this age. And dear students, to narrate a story, you don't need to memorize other people's story. You have your own stories. Many things happen in your life. Just think, arrange and make it interesting and come on the stage and narrate. Tell to the people what happened in your life. This is storytelling. So today, I would like to tell a story to just demonstrate my students how to narrate a story. So what happened? When I was in 10th standard, I was crazy about playing cricket. Actually, cricket was my life. And because of these things, I used to neglect my study. That's why I used to get lace marks. And my parents wouldn't be happy. You all know that. Your parents. First priority is your education. But I was ignoring my study just because of playing cricket. So one day I thought, let me make my parents happy. But how? So that was going on in my mind. What can I do? Actually to get the rank in the class is too hard. So something was going on in my mind. What can I do? So what happened one day? That I, can, I can still remember that day. It was a Saturday morning and I had a morning school. It was a recess time, but still I was with my friends and we are having conversation. And I was also sharing with my friends, uh, friends, now I want to do something different apart from cricket. I want to get some awards in, in public speaking competitions or in storytelling competition or in poetry recitation. And what happened, you know, that after five minutes, I heard the bell. It was a, you know, it was the end of our recess, and students started coming, coming to the classroom, and our teacher also entered, and our teacher announced, "Dear students, next Saturday, uh, we have a storytelling competition in our school. So if you are interested, if you want to win a trophy, uh, you can register your name to V D Patel, sir." I discussed with my friends and. After that, I went to the staff room. VD Patel sir was sitting and he was doing his work. And I told to my sir, Sir, my sir didn't listen to me. He didn't respond. Sir, sir. Then sir looked at me. Yeah, what happened Prakash? Sir, I want to uh, participate in storytelling competition sir my sir uh, laughed at me he looked at me from the bottom to the top and how he reacted let me share Prakash storytelling is not as easy as playing cricket in cricket, you face the ball, that's a piece of cake. But in the storytelling, you have to face the audience. And it's not easy. But I made my mind that time. Anyhow, I wanted to participate in that competition and I wanted to win that trophy to make my parents happy. So, to be honest, really, I worked very hard. I left no stone undone to win that trophy and I prepared a lot and after one week that was a day of storytelling competition 
after recess our sir arranged the storytelling competition the thousands of students were sitting and i was sitting on the stage there were some judges and the teachers were also sitting there there were more than 10 there were more than 10 contestants with me they were a little bit nervous but i was very very confident because i prepared a lot so after two three contestant announcer anchors announced my name now i would like to invite prakash so please put your hands together really all students clapped a lot for me and i went on the stage i hold the microphone i look at the audience and i just started and what happened you know that blank i forgot everything i couldn't remember a single word and that day i realized storytelling and speaking in front of the people it's not so easy as playing cricket but i worked very hard after that and i i practice practice and practice and next year again i participated and i won the trophy so this is our story students so many things happen in your life just arrange them make them interesting and share with people this is storytelling so what do you think storytelling is easy yes if you practice it's very easy so let's try together thank you